All right, let's watch this. Five minutes. Ever made. Okay. Let me adjust my uh. You know what? I'll keep the death counter up. I think I think it adds flavor to the video. The ring is the the fuck is that? Oh, that's my thumb. I thought it was a pecker. Ever made. When you start, the map is like this, and you go, "Damn, this game is big." Then you get it's a pretty big game. to the other side of the map and realize, "Oh my god, this game is big." It's pretty then massive. Then you get teleported to the top of the map and you go, "Whoa, this game big." It's pretty then goddamn massive. There's an entire other world underground, and a floating island, and a massive city, and an entire secret castle. Two of them, actually. There are secret zones within secret zones within secret zones. So the it's so good. Everything about it. Paid this game is to tell you that I have beaten this game four times now. Right out the gate, Jew, we're ripping off Zelda. You literally wake up four, in the tomb, open four? the door, and the game says go. No hand holding, no bullshit. Just go wherever. Just you go. Want. I was just there the other night too, and those fucking things kept killing me. To go, except don't fight that guy, and don't go over here because you'll die. Hey, that tree, that tree sentinel is actually pretty easy if you uh, level up a little bit. Follow the beam of light because that's a fucking scam. Elden Ring's gameplay loop was to put a bullshit boss in front of you and say, okay. Now go into the world and find something to go chop explore. His head off with. Yeah. Having a concrete goal like defeating Jesus Rock Blaster. He is wrecking that fucking thing with that. Scumbag boss makes exploration feel that much more meaningful. And visually, this is a world worth exploring. Walking around in this game. It, it really is. Like look at that. Side of a painting. There are hundreds, look at that. And hundreds of scenic vistas which look impossibly curated and intentional. And the game is so gorgeous. And are populated with an absurd array of creative enemies and bosses. FromSoft is famous for their enemies. Magma eyes. Worm. They are really bringing the heat here, not only in that economy, thing looks sick. but also in terms of moves and variety. Penguins is in this game. Penguins. Doggy statues, doggy wizards, giant lobsters, vampire bats that sing the Halo theme. <laughs> they got pumpkin head to be in this stretchy lizard man. The list goes on and on. I <laughs> got the bad sting of the Halo theme song. Me, but I can't. This game cannot be spoiled because this game does not end, okay? This is Dark Souls 4. No end credits edition. Dark Souls 4. No end credits edition. What the is fuck is that? The effort that has gone into the world and enemies. It feels like they only spent 10 seconds balancing this game. The difficult The game is hella broken. Is best Fuck that dude. As, uh, what is what is the word I'm looking for here? That's uh, not even the one I fought. T total fucking horse shit. This is an evil game made by an evil man and whoever's job it was to balance the damage scaling on enemies did not show up to work for the entire making of this game. Just from saying that Already, people are pissed off at me. They're saying donkey sucks. That the damage is you, the damage is off. Biased. You only like Xbox, but always remember, I beat this, and this is fucking stupid. Anybody that and beats that is I a beat goat. Elden Ring. One, two, two three, three, four, four times. times. Four times, Dunkaroo. Because I'm the realest gamer of all time. And he is pretty cracked. It's too hard. I am calling this game out. I look Not at that. It's a bad game. But because it's an incredible game that is he got ninja by very poor balance i also got ninja deaths in this game do not feel earned like dying to this stupid shit or losing seventy thousand runes to the wonky platform that would so piss me off enemies in this game can kill you with one or two hits or kill you with a combo that comes out so fast it feels like one hit why, why do i want to fight that into another hit which also feels like a one hit kill or they can just kill you in one grab straight up having super aggressive enemies with crazy combos hey we beat we beat godric in four attempts by the way four tries to beat godric i want to put that out there predictable attacks is the fun kind of difficult but making those moves hit for your entire health bar it's is stupid fucking lame it's and super lame rewards now what's fun about elden rings rewards is you never know what you're gonna get what sucks about that is you end up struggling in a cave for an hour to get a <laughs> wizard staff that you can't even use look at this dude he cannot actually turn around to attack you. He is worth 3,300 XP. 3,300. Then you have this guy who can do this. He'll probably be worth and like he can say this. 35. He can say this. And he has this move too. Fuck this that. Guy, who has a ton of health, by the way, is worth 3,800 XP. See what I'm saying, bro? That's bullshit. more than the guy who can't turn around. Ow. Wow. You think that's fucked up, though? Look at these guys. Yeah. They're literally Those sleeping. are the, that's the farm Watch spot. What happens when I hit L2.
I've just got 20,000 XP for that. There are so many different Re fucking ridiculous and summons and special moves in this game that should make Elden Ring a wonderland for experimentation, but because the upgrade system is so rigid and stingy, you feel discouraged from creating wacky builds. And then on top of that, you he's, have he's got a solid point. Game difficulty spike where it feels like your What the fuck is that? Just That's just fingers. Level 1. The end game bosses are so brutal and so fast that it ultimately funnels every player into using the same broken builds. It's probably starting to sound like I hate this game, but you beat it four remember, times. I beat this bi Bingus Kane, Moonzo, Green, and Jack. Level 155, 129, 141, 102. He beat the game in 67, 55, 45, and 17 hours. That's fucking insane. Big ass game four times. Four and a half, actually. Clearly, they did something right. Games like this are far... That's insane. Game, so I want them to get this one just right. And the good news is that most of the problems with Elden Ring can be fixed by one dude with a slider tool. Just turn enemy damage down by 20, you know, 30, 70%, and we're back in business. One, two, three, I do agree if you turn the some of that some of the damage scaling down, it'd be a lot better. It would be uh it would be a hell of a lot better. That was a fun video. Donkey is uh Donkey's great. Donkey is pretty fucking great.